Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers Hardcore. This is Althraced. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I might be retarded though. So uh, I've been mining a lot. I spent uh, about a half hour looking for silver though. Flying around every which way. It was right here. Right where I left it. Right where I turned this so that gravity would be on it. Right there. Silver. And the outside. Um, I can't believe that it took me that long to find it, though. Uh, let's see. Things I've changed. I took out the ejector on this thing. It's just too small to be useful. Um really it was pumping out like 135 per pump and I had like a hundred thousand <laughs> kilograms in it and it was just taking way too long so I popped that out I put in uh, another refinery in its place so I didn't have to run any more tubing to it for uranium uh, got that all hooked up so now we have plenty of power I can run everything. Uh, I might actually add another engine since I think this is maxing out at 70%. Yeah, look at look at the asteroids outside. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Nice little view hole. Um, ooh, we're quite full. I notice this thing drops a lot. I've uh, been having to turn on gravity so that I can get the debris cleared. Um, yeah. And I've decided I want to keep the space station platform that I'm getting ready to make mobile. So what I'm going to do is just remodel this thing. Um, I'm going to want it small enough that it will fit inside the big ship. Or really, this will tell me the size of the big ship because this is going to have to fit in one docking bay on it. Um, I'm going to have all these little ships and then the bigger version of these ships, those are all also going to have to dock. Um, and I'm going to want to have a couple fighter ships. So I've done some math and I've found that I'm going to need more iron than is likely even in this asteroid. So uh, we're going to be thinning this asteroid out quite a bit during mining operations. Um, my refinery's full. I'm uh, assembling uh, a couple more storage units and a refinery and uh, two refineries actually. And then I still have a bunch of reactor stuff to go. How are we doing on silver? Not anywhere near as much as I thought. Um, we're still well short. Well, well short. Okay, so I need to mine more silver. Um, but I'll probably do that off camera so that you guys aren't stuck watching mining. It's not terribly exciting. I think it's great fun though. Uh, I'm having a blast using that little ship. I can't wait to make the bigger one. But I definitely need more refineries. Uh, yeah, let's just... Iron refines very quickly, thankfully. Um, I'm going to have, I think what I'm getting, getting set up to do is I'm going to end up with, um, six refineries, three assemblers, and a bunch of storage. I'm pretty sure one large reactor will power that. And then this will be mobile, of course. Pardon me just a second. Okay. Um, 
this will be mobile I'm going to stick some landing gear on it and it will be able to sit inside of our giant ship I'm also going to test some things I'm going to need uh, five or six gravity generators I want to see if we can create a gravity well big enough because I believe they stack additively I want to try and create a gravity well big enough that we can divert asteroids because I don't think turrets are going to be enough to allow our ship to survive. I just don't think they can react fast enough. So I'm going to be trying that. Uh, either way, I'm going to probably want that many gravity generators just because of the size of our large ship. So it's not a waste or anything. Plus, I could always break them down if I really needed to. Uh, disassembler function and all. And I believe it's a one-to-one -one disassemble. I haven't actually tried yet. But I'd be surprised if it wasn't. Um, I guess we could try one real quick. Just a small steel tube. Yeah, that, that said... Okay. So yeah, it's basically a one-to-one. -one. That's good. Um, we have... A bit of power. Yeah. Two days worth of fuel with both things running. So we're good there for a while. But, uh... I think I'm ready to start removing stuff. And rearranging it. Um, basically this whole thing's getting ready to be torn apart and uh, I'm gonna get rid of the useless stuff on it and I don't remember it being that close to the rock did I move it I bump into it I might have bumped into it at some point and caused it to bounce a little oh well not a great big deal um, I went looking at my magnesium because I know that was close to the uh, the sunside entrance over here someplace. Not this one. No, that's where I came in. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to hollow out basically this whole section here from there to there and open it up this just so I can try and build the ship that I'm planning on building um, it's going to be fantastically large it's probably going to end up overall being bigger than this asteroid if I can figure out a defense mechanism for it uh, I don't remember where the magnesium was right now there's some cobalt haven't mined any of that yet. I like mining gold. Uh, that's probably the most fun to mine because of the way it breaks off in larger chunks than everything else. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're doing good so far. Um, this is a grindy episode, I guess, so I'm gonna get to it. Um, A lot of this is going to be useless, I think. Uh, oh, let's, uh... I'm not sure, though, on that. We'll see. I kind of want to make something that looks like a Star Destroyer for my large ship. Um... It seems like one that might be fun to try and recreate, but I honestly don't think I have that kind of patience. I almost lost that light. Um, things that are useless, like the collector here, you would need multiple ejectors on a small ship to make it work. I'm not sure how much the big ship pumps out, but uh, I'm nowhere near that yet. And I'll probably want to move it anyway with putting in the extra refineries and alternate assemblers and stuff. 
So this ship is going to be remodeled. Um, more or less turn it into a platform. Uh, try and reduce its size a bit, moving the engines a little. And the engine power consumption. I'm going for efficiency on all these small ships as much as possible, because I think it's going to pay off later on when I'm building the big ship um, and create less work for me. I'm going to have to leave this place though because the resources it has I don't think are enough for what I want to build. Um, there might be enough iron. It's pretty close though. If I'm doing heavy armor I'm going to need some billion tons of, uh, of iron and so I don't really know if uh, that's going to work out. <laughs> that sounds like a lot, but when you see the size of what I'm building, it's really not. Um, so I'm going to need a much bigger drilling ship, obviously. But before I do that, I'm going to want a welding ship. I'm just going to build a small um, dual wheel welder welding ship. Come back here. And uh, it's just going to be light armor and everything. Okay, what else is waste? Not going for looks on this one. We're going for utility. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to move that anyway. Like I said, reducing height is going to be one of the big projects for this. Um... And that means moving all the engines, pretty much, because they're not placed very well, in my opinion. Except for the upward-facing ones. That's about as short as I can go, I think, with those. But, uh, opening up more platform space at, uh, usable level, that's what I'm going for right now. Because I do want to be able to get in and out of this asteroid with this ship. Um, I'm going to end up parking it outside, I think, once I have uh, some of the bigger ships going back and forth. Just because there won't be enough space in here. Okay. But, let's see, don't need that. I'll actually place one of the refineries right here, most likely. Or it's two, oh, it's four wide on this ship. Ah. Oh. Oh, it's so big. I don't know even how to use this. I'm not interested in learning right now. So I'm getting rid of it. Um, the lights are nice to start with. They aren't really useful, though, so I'm probably not going to rebuild those on this ship. Um, kind of pointless. I will put lights around a building area for another small ship, but I'll just remove them when I'm done um, for the welding ship that I plan on building. I think a dual welder will be good. Might go with three, I don't know. Um, is there really a point to three? Maybe. Not sure. Um, we don't need that much forward thrust, do we? It's actually probably not a bad idea to keep it, especially with all the weight we're getting ready to add to it. Um, doesn't really seem to matter on a ship this size with the storage weight. I've noticed moving this thing around. Oh, I left the thrusters on. And the light on. What a waste. My bad. All about efficiency. Leave everything on! The beacon provides enough light. Um, 
pretty much without issue. But for the video, I'll keep mine on. Um, what else? Keep the gyroscope, conveyor set up. I don't know if you can have more than one conveyor block in a system. I'm guessing that you can. Which is, uh... Good, now that I think about it, because there have been a few instances where I wanted a T block, and I couldn't figure out how to do it because they don't give you a T option, so conveyors are the answer to that. Um, good to know. Good to know. Um, I'm just doing a couple more small storages on this. We're going to put one here. And we'll get rid of this block here. I don't think it's holding anything on. If it was, it's not anymore. Yeah, okay, so long as I don't dismantle the baseboard, we're fine. Um, the color on this needs to not be black. Blue works. Okay. Um, I thought there was a hole there <laughs> when I was for that split second. It's just not worth it. Um, let's go ahead and take out this one as well. Okay, did that detach? That detached, didn't it? God dang it. Okay. I didn't want to detach these thrusters. My bad. I don't know why I thought they would attach to the side of the refinery. Um... Probably because of this armor block here. That's what I was thinking. Yep. So I'm just going to end up immediately rebuilding these in a little bit. Um, this isn't going anywhere for the time being, so it's not too big a deal. Uh, let's go ahead and put everything away. Oh, what an annoying thing to have done. This refinery is huge. Seriously, why is it so big? I mean, the assembler is holding at least half of its weight, right? Assembler holds, oh, not even close only 10, so it's a quarter. Well then, the refinery is still too big. It is gigantic, and I want to have six of these things. Hmm. Well, I'm going to contemplate this for a little bit. This will be a good spot to end the episode that's getting moved to there. I wonder if I can mount that on that. I will find out. Um, that will be next episode where I continue trying to wrap my head around making this into something usable. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we'll see what we can do. I will be back tomorrow. I hope you join me. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.